Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome to the Dutch AC channel, thank you very much for tuning in. And what do I have here? Well this is a quadcopter I featured uh, about a month ago. I did a review on it. The Fury B Dark Max, yeah quite a nice quadcopter and the uh, only real gripe I had with it was that D8 receiver with a puny little antenna. Yeah. So. Okay, so this is a follow-up video on that, and this is what it looks like now. Oh, the poor Fury B Dark Max. <laughs> that, that doesn't look like an improvement at all, does it? No, it's a <laughs> bare frame by now. What the hell happened? Well, I'll show you what happened. There you go. It looks completely different. All of a sudden, yeah, I transplanted all of the electronics to a different frame. This is the Sky Hero OB1 version 2, the latest version from uh, Sky Heroes uh, Racer. So, um, why did I do this? All right, well, the first thing is uh, this is a far higher quality frame, especially the carbon fiber. Yeah, there's no comparing a budget frame like this to a high spec Sky Hero frame like this. Um, I'm not gonna test the strength of the arms or anything. Oh, well, maybe we will in crashes, but uh, you can uh, be sure to know that the carbon fiber in a frame like this is uh, of far, far higher quality. Hence, the higher price. Uh, actually, this frame, I have had it for a couple of months. Uh, when I ordered it, it was around the same price as the Dark Max uh, with all the electronics. So, yeah. Okay, and it is also easy to work on. But the major thing is, I've got some room left here in the frame. So, my idea is to maybe put a run cam split in here. Well, the, the electronics board of a split, of course. And the split camera and, and uh, the front. Because, well, the Dark Max comes with a CMOS camera. So, um, I'm not completely sure if I want to do that. I first want to test fly it as it is. Uh, actually, I'll even still have that D8 receiver in it. I will probably replace that with a uh, XMR receiver, right, with full telemetry and proper antenna. But for now we're gonna test fly this puppy like this. And uh, the main thing I'm looking for is, uh, well it, it'll fly mostly the same of course. And um, I chose these electronics for this Sky Hero frame because the motors are nice, the flight controller is nice. Um, yeah. It's a pretty nice setup, but the camera, I'm not sure if I want to use that camera in this setup. So, let's have a looky, let's see uh, how it flies. And um, No, I won't be uh, having an, uh, an HD camera on it, there's no real uh, HD camera mount on this frame. Which is, yeah, also a reason to consider that uh, run cam split setup, right? Okay, let's go and fly it, here we go.
Okay, so guess what? Our new Quadro flies and it flies well. That's nice. Uh, it's not perfect though, there are two things about this Quadro. You might have noticed that my landing was a bit uh, weirdish. <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't crash, not at all, but the camera <laughs> slipped up. As you can see, it's uh, not uh, really fixed in place. Uh, so I uh, was suddenly uh, kind of looking at the sky and stuff. I could just in the corner of my eye see uh, one of the treetops, so I was able to land it. But uh, yeah, that's not really what you want. The, the real issue is that uh, this camera's screw mount holes, um, they're a bit different than say on a Runcam Swift, which is what this OB-1 frame is uh, built for, I guess. So yeah, um, it's not, uh, hmm. Yeah, other than that, I was impressed again with this FV camera. So I guess that speaks for the Dark Max. The Dark Max has uh, very nice electronics, uh, DIS motors, a nice flight stack with OSD and stuff. And uh, actually even a nice camera and it maybe this one actually is a CCD camera. And even that uh, receiver with its uh, puny little uh, antenna didn't give me any problems. And uh, one other thing, apart from uh, yeah the camera mount, uh, DIS motors, right? Again, the Fury B Dark Max has nice electronics and these DIS motors run uh, very nice and smooth. They perform well, as I am accustomed from uh, DIS motors. However, I can't find these motors as spare parts. 2550 kV and uh, what size are these DIS race ready? I'm, I'm not completely sure what the size is, uh, but uh, yeah, I can't find these as spare parts. So uh, yeah, in a uh, racing quadcopter you sometimes damage a motor in a uh, an uh, unforeseen uh, landing. <laughs> yeah, and you can't buy these motors. That's a bit of a shame. And that's a downside of budget quadcopters maybe. Furby probably commissioned these motors from DIS itself. So they are specially made for the Dark Max. But it uh, would of course be nice to be able to uh, buy them as spares. You could of course just opt to uh, run two different motors at the front uh, than at the rear. That's definitely a possibility and it's no, not a problem either. But again, yeah, I would be, like to be able to buy these motors separately. So I'm actually not completely sure of what to do with this quadcopter now. Um, I kind of was hoping I wouldn't like this FPV camera. Yeah, but I do. I'm sure I'll be able to uh, fix that camera in place somehow. That won't be a problem. But yeah, it's kind of too good to throw out, right? So um, will I be installing a Runcam split in this quadcopter? I'm not completely sure. Actually, what would you do? Would you just, uh, well, maybe some foam somewhere to fix that camera in place and call it uh, done? And just run the quadcopter as is? Or uh, would you uh, finagle with it more? Tell me what you think. I do have a Runcam split uh, in uh, my parts bin, by the way, a version 1. But that doesn't matter, that'll work. But I'm not completely sure. Again, what would you do? Okay, so much uh, for uh, this project update thing. And uh, kind of an update to the Fury B Dark Max as well. Again, quite a nice quadcopter. Even that receiver, I haven't re replaced the receiver at all and no issues. Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, that's it for now. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.